Hi guys, welcome back to Leila's Home Cooking. And on today's episode, I want to show you how I make spinach and potato curry. Let me take you to the ingredients so we can get started. We're going to need some fresh spinach. Now I have washed this and chopped this and it looks like a lot and I'm using about three branches and uh, I would say it's about two and a half pound after cleaning and everything. Some potatoes cut into small cube. It's about one inch cube, just like that. Finely chopped onion, salt, some dry red chilies, ginger grated and garlic grated as well. And then uh, over here I have ha uh, one teaspoon of mustard seeds, one teaspoon of onion seeds or kalonji seeds. To the hot oil, add the kalonji seeds and the mustard seeds. And this is about three and a quarter, three, and a, uh, three quarter cup of oil. And now you're gonna add your green, your dry chilies, ginger, garlic. onion and the salt. Now the salt gonna help the onion to cook faster. We are not looking for brown onion. When the onion gets translucent in color, then I'm gonna add the potatoes. Add potatoes. Give it a mix. about half cup of water cover and let this cook for about 10-15 minutes on medium heat stirring time to time it's been 10 minutes exactly and you can see the potatoes has been softened a little bit the water has been dry and now you're gonna add all your spinach and at this point if you if you think you need some salt you can add it right now but the salt that i have added earlier that would be enough now cover this and let this cook reduce the heat a little bit so the spinach can remove their own water and if you see there is no water not enough water then you can add just a bit and let it cook it's been 10 minutes let's open this and now you can see how much water the spinach has removed on its own and the potatoes is almost tender and now all you have to do is wait for the water to dry completely and then you know your spinach and potato curry is ready i'm telling you guys this is so tasty and everybody gonna love this in the house so give this about another five to ten minutes on low heat cover my spinach and potato curry is ready in absolutely no time except you have to wash the spinach obviously nicely and and chop them that is the only thing that takes time in this dish and the rest is so easy and you can see how beautifully is this cook already everything has been done the potatoes is already softened and uh, taste is amazing guarantee you everybody gonna love this in your house i will see you next time get the recipe down below don't forget to like and subscribe bye